I shouldn't have to be here speaking. I'm only 10 years old, but I am because my friends have no voice no more. ceremony that day earlier before the shooting. As soon as we got to our class, we heard the gunshots. I wrote my own speech that day and I wrote my own speech that day. I felt good coming off. I felt proud of myself. Jackie, she was like bubbling, energetic. She was playing on the swing by herself. And then we just became really, really, really close since that day. This is my best friend. Enough is enough! Enough is enough! Stop school shooting! Enough is enough! Stop school shooting! The change I want to see in gun laws is like ban assault weapons or to raise the age to buy one. And just in 2023 alone, there's been multiple mass shootings, like at least two in each day. So like, we can stop that if we want to do something. Don't be silent and don't violence. My voice is important because we need more people to show up at the meetings. We need more people to show up at the rallies. We just need more people in general to support us. Well, physically, if you looked at me, you probably thought I went to war. I look at my arm, and of course, it's it's a constant reminder of what of what happened that day. Good afternoon. It is an honor and privilege to be here today to represent the 21 lives lost on May 24th, 2022. For those of you who do not know me, I am Mr. Reyes, and I am a surviving teacher from room 111 at Robb Elementary. I come here today to let the governor know that expanding guns into schools will not make it safer. A lot of the survivors, we still have to live with it, the pain, the suffering. I decided to go into education and I knew that I could make a difference in somebody else's life and nothing more rewarding than helping somebody. This is um, Annabelle. They say we are together. As a teacher, as an educator, you never think about losing a student. To lose 11 at a time, at one single time, and then to lose your coworkers that worked right beside you, it's a lot at once. I came and looked for them because I was in the hospital the whole time that um, that they had all the funerals and I couldn't make it to any, so I had to come and look for them and find them. And I've come to accept it. I do it in, in their honor, like, you gotta get up, you gotta do something, you gotta go. And I have more good days now than I had bad days ago. My name is Jasmine Casares, and six months ago, my little sister, Jackie Casares, was nine years old when an 18-year-old with an AR-15 walked into her classroom and killed her at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, Texas. Not everybody agrees on an assault weapons ban, but that's why we want to reach a compromise, meet in the middle, and raise the age to 21 to buy an assault weapon. We will not stay silent, we will not back down from this fight, and we sure as hell will not let our children be forgotten. Jackie was born when I was like seven, so before that, I don't remember too much. I was excited that, of course, I was gonna have another little girl in my life. We we're really close. It really did change how I view politics, I think. Like, I remember being 
so angry that things couldn't change faster. But that's just how it works and I know that now. All the things that I do now, I wish I'd done them sooner. The reason why I finally decided to go to protest and speak up is because my sister passed. I just don't understand how badly these people failed us. And not just the families, these children, because they're gone. And especially the surviving children that are going to have to live with this trauma for the rest of their lives. It's, I can't think of anything else other than just cowardice. I couldn't even feel sad just because of how angry I was. Nothing is ever going to be able to bring my sister back, which is what we would have wanted. But justice is making sure this doesn't happen to somebody else. Their deaths were so violent, and it wasn't just one person, it was 21 people, 19 children. Nobody deserves to be going through this, and if we don't change something, you could be going through this.